Welcome to the Cyber Guide for the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Cyber Guides are portable companions that provide interesting information about notable sites and monuments around town. This Cyber Guide provides an overview of the exterior of the Lincoln Memorial. Also available is a guide to the interior. Located on the west end of the National Mall in Washington, the Lincoln Memorial honors Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, who led the nation through the bitterly divisive time of the Civil War. The design of the Lincoln Memorial is influenced by the architecture of ancient Greece and Rome, particularly in the symmetrical shape and use of tall columns. Several buildings in the nation's capital, including the Supreme Court building, the White House, and the U.S. Capitol, are examples of neoclassical buildings whose beautiful proportions were intended to symbolize the Founding Fathers' emphasis on justice and democracy. An immediately recognizable feature of the Lincoln Memorial is the peristyle of 36 columns that surround the exterior, one for each state in the Union at the time of Lincoln's death. You might be interested to know that the count of 36 includes the 11 states that seceded from the Union at the beginning of the Civil War. The ancient Greeks developed several rules, also called orders, for maintaining proper form and proportion in the design of a building. The Doric order is the oldest, and the thick and sturdy columns were believed to represent strength and masculinity. Doric columns are wider at the bottom and become tapered as they reach the top. The shaft is fluted, which means it has grooves and features a plain, unornamented capital at the top. Incidentally, the other two orders of Greek columns are Ionic, which feature a scroll at the top, and Corinthian, which have carved acanthus leaves. The columns of the Lincoln Memorial are 44 feet high and 23 feet in circumference around the base. Each column is comprised of 12 pieces of Indiana limestone stacked on top of each other. Columns and walls tilt slightly inward to avoid having the building look bloated at the top. The memorial is 190 feet wide, 119 feet deep, and 99 feet tall, and is made of marble from Colorado. The foundation is surrounded by a granite retaining wall, which rises 14 feet above the rest of the land. Partway up the steps from the reflecting pool are two tripod urns carved from pink Tennessee marble by the Piccarilli brothers who also carved the statue of Lincoln that appears inside the building. Each leg of the urn shows corn, ready for harvest, a symbol of prosperity, beneath a statue of a bald eagle, a symbol of America's willingness to defend itself militarily. On a landing, partway up the steps is a plaque set in the location where Martin Luther King Jr. stood when he delivered the famous I Have a Dream speech on Wednesday, August 28th, 1963. There are 87 steps from the reflecting pool to the statue of Lincoln inside the memorial. 87 is four score and seven, which are also the opening words of the Gettysburg Address, the entire text of which you can see carved on one of the interior walls. The address was delivered in 1863, 87 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776. The opening sentence of Lincoln's Gettysburg Address echoes the part of the Declaration of Independence that says, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. The Lincoln Memorial was designed by Henry Bacon, who, although born in Illinois, spent most of his professional career working in Boston and New York. Among Bacon's designs in Washington are the Fountain in DuPont Circle, and the setting for the statue of Alexander Hamilton in front of the U.S. Treasury Building next to the White House. The statue of Lincoln that appears inside the memorial was designed by Daniel Chester French. Born in New Hampshire, French was a prolific sculptor with an extensive list of artistic accomplishments, including the DuPont Circle Fountain in collaboration with the just-mentioned Henry Bacon, the statue of a seated John Harvard in Harvard Yard of Cambridge, Massachusetts, and the Pulitzer Prize. The most relevant work of French, and one which was also done in collaboration with Henry Bacon, 
is a bronze statue located on the grounds of the state capitol in Lincoln, Nebraska, of a pensive Abraham Lincoln standing with hands clasped and head bowed. Much of the research for the Nebraska statue, which was completed in 1912, would inform the statue inside the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. The interior is discussed in detail in another cyber guide. We hope that you have enjoyed this cyber guide and encourage you to visit some of our other presentations.